my name's Daniel Hinckley and I have a sort of dual role here at the college. I'm in the equality team for half the week and for the other half I work with 16 to 18 year old ESOL learners. The Easy Readers was a suggestion from one of the members of the library, um, Becky. She came up with the idea of our students being involved in a project whereby we would produce books that would be available online, uh, that would be interactive and that other learners at a slightly lower level would benefit from reading. Um, so we did it with an entry three class and we worked in small groups. We created um, storyboards and then we made, we took pictures, we, we wrote the scripts. Doing things like going in the recording studio, that's very different from what they do normally. Um, the group work, I think just seeing it, de seeing it develop from some little sketches on a piece of paper to a final product um, has been really good. Yes, I have made an easy read book. It's called How to Save Energy at Home. For one example, you are like a charging your phone. Just always remember to unplug your charge phone. And always like remember to, sh to turn off your TV instead of leaving, leaving it on standby. My name's Marianne Rushton. I'm a lecturer in the East Hall Department at Bolton College and I work with the entry levels one to three. We started making the easy ebooks with the library because we wanted them to be things that the students were, were interested in and then Becky at the library had the idea that it would be nice to actually get the students to make the book. Some students did quite a lot of um, pictures which involved a lot of ICT, embedded ICT, and they enjoyed researching the pictures. They also learnt about Creative Commons which they didn't understand so that was quite a big thing and the end result is really nice short books with lots of pictures which is important for second language students. In the future we want to use this more in the classroom as a teaching activity. It's really nice for them to have a product at the end of it and it's also more learner-led. They choose the topic, they decide what they want to put in it, they pick the images and it's just a more interesting way of learning grammar. With the younger students who were involved, I think it was a big confidence thing. The idea that they're actually doing something responsible, they've been in charge of their own learning, they have a product that they can be proud of that's going out to the wider college. I think that gave them quite a big confidence boost and they really engaged with the topic and got on with it and didn't need an awful lot of um, pushing from the tutors to, to make and develop their own books. 100% I enjoyed I made a new book. I gained a new skills experiment. I improved my English, both writing and reading, even on pronunciation. I get new vocabulary, new words, so it helps me a lot. It makes me feel proud of myself and confident as well.